okay let's suppose if you are a builder contractor an architect or another construction professional and you are planning to build a house or in the process of remodeling it then it's really important for you to be familiar with the process of how to check the quality of cement before mixing it with other materials hey guys i'm suleiman khan and in this video we will be describing some of the simplest field tests anyone can easily perform to check the quality of cement number first and that's the manufacturing date you must always check the manufacturing date of cement on the cement bag before using it this is because cement gradually starts to lose its strength due to increase in the moisture content the chemical reaction that take place when cement comes in contact with the atmospheric moisture is called hydration. Therefore, it's really suggested using cement within 90 days from the date of manufacture. This simple table just shows how the cement loses its strength over the time. Number 2, and that's the color test. The color of cement can be a good indicator of its quality and composition. A good cement should be a uniform gray color with a light greenish shade you can say. If the color of cement is dark greenish it may indicate an excess of lime or clay during the manufacture of cement. Number three and that's about the cement lumps. Once you have opened the cement bag you can take a good look at its content and make sure there are not any lumps inside. This is really important test to check the quality of cement as lumps indicate the packed cement bag had come in contact with moisture. As discussed in test number one, exposure to moisture causes the cement to lose its strength. If the bag of cement contains any lumps, that bag can be rejected. Number 4 and that's known by the cement float test. This simple test is done to make sure the cement does not include any excessive amount of dust which can reduce the strength of cement. You can carry out this simple float test at the construction site. All you need to take a handful of cement from the cement bag and throw it in a bucket of water. Good quality cement would float on the water surface for some time before sinking, where a cement with extra impurities would sink immediately. However, cement mixed with dust will continue to float on a water surface for a long time. Number 5 and that cement adulteration test. In adulteration test, you can take some amount of cement and rub it between your fingers. If the material feels smooth on your skin, then that's a good sign and you can go ahead and use it. However, if the cement feels rough on your skin, then it could be an indicator of excess of sand. It means sand can be used more and there can be sand or you can say lumps which can be felt rough on your skin. So you can reject that bag then. Number six and that's the cement temperature test. This can be the easiest way to check the quality of cement at the construction site. What you need to do is to just place your clean dry hand inside the cement bag. If the cement feels cool, that means hydration has not taken place inside the bed. However, if it feels warm, that means hydration has taken place and the cement can be rejected. Number seven, which is the last one, and that is the cement odor test. This test is performed to check the quality of cement by smelling it. Cement is actually, or you can say naturally odorless, but if you smell and feel an earthy smell coming from the cement bag, it is an indicator of excess amount of clay and sand in the material and that's not a good sign. Which means the clay and sand can be more uh, than the, the proportion during the manufacture of cement. And that's it. Hey, if you like these types of videos, please hit that subscribe button, press the bell icon so you never miss an update 
from the engineer boy.